Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Laurie and today I'm participating in the International Fall Wreath Challenge 2019. It's being co-hosted by six beautiful women. I'm linking all their channels below. Make sure that you check them out. And I wanted to say thank you to Kiki from Kiki's DIY, Mom from Mom Das Life Handmade, Pat from Style with Pat, Ruth from Kentucky Fried Fun, Janie and Diane from Deco Easy, and Shell from Shell's Glam Home. I made my wreath with most of the supplies from the Dollar Tree. However, I did thrift a grapevine wreath for a dollar. That was the base. And I did purchase the ribbons at Michael's. It was super easy to make and it was actually pretty inexpensive. Dollar Tree has so many beautiful fall signs that you can actually interchange them with this wreath kind of change up the ribbons to match your home decor. I hope you have fun making this wreath with me. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below and be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you again to all the beautiful women that are co-hosting this challenge and don't forget to check out their links below. To make this wreath, you're going to need one 18 inch grapevine wreath one sign from the Dollar Tree, a large bunch of fall flowers and any specialty picks. I'm using three different styles of ribbon, one one and a half inch, one seven eighths of an inch, and one five eighths of an inch. And you'll need some floral wire. Whenever I'm working with silk flowers, I always like to detach them from the base stem. So I go through my stack of flowers and I just cut them at the longest point on the base stem. And then later on, if they need to be shorter, I can just cut them then. I'm using an 18 inch grapevine wreath that I thrifted for a dollar. And this is going to be the base of my wreath. And I'm definitely not a florist, so I never know if this is the proper way to make a wreath. However, what I do is I usually just start with the larger flowers and I kind of balance them around the circle. I always make sure that there is just about the same space between each of the flowers. Once I have my larger flowers in place, I'm then going to add some additional flowers. I use the larger flowers for the project just to kind of fill in all the open spaces and then I'll work my way down to my smaller flowers. And as I'm placing them on the wreath, I'm always trying to balance each side. So if I put a large flower on one side, I try to put the same large flower on the other side. To complete the floral part of the wreath, I used my smaller flowers and some leaves to hide any of the areas of the grapevine. I continued tucking them in here and there until the wreath looked full. I chose this farm fresh pumpkin sign from the Dollar Tree to place in the center of the wreath. I removed the little jute hanger from the back of the sign. I then placed the sign in the center before attaching it just to kind of see how it would lay and where I would place it. And then once I was happy with its placement, I used my glue gun to attach it to the center of the wreath. Once it was attached, I rearranged the flowers around the sign. To hide the jute hanger holes, I just hot glued two little leaves over them. I'm using three different sizes of ribbons as an accent. I decided to place six ribbon accents on the wreath. Using my ruler, I cut the first ribbon at eight inches. Then using that ribbon as a guide, I cut five more. I followed the same steps for my orange polka dot ribbon and my black plaid ribbon. I 
I bought this ribbon at Michael's, but the Dollar Tree does have some really pretty complimentary fall ribbon. Once I had all of the ribbons cut, I then dovetailed each of the ends. I folded each ribbon lightly in half and then using my scissors, I cut away at an angle on the end of the ribbon. I opted to just put bow accents on my wreath, but you could put the bow accents with a big bow. I just chose to go a little simpler and just put in the bow accents. I cut six six inch lengths of the floral wire. Once that's complete, it's time to add the ribbon to the wreath. I layered my ribbons by using the black polka dot, the orange polka dot, and then the black and white check. I folded the ribbons over in my hand and then using a piece of the floral wire, I just simply slipped it over all three of the ribbons and then just twisted tightly. Once the ribbons were attached by the wire, I did kind of pull at them and separate them. So you could see each individual ribbon. And I did this for all my ribbons, so in the end I had six little ribbon clusters. Now it's time to attach them to the wreath. Attaching the ribbons, I'm just following the same formula, making sure that I balance them on the wreath. Unlike the flowers that I tucked in between the grapevine wreath, I'm going to use my hot glue gun and secure each of them in place. I'm attaching one ribbon bunch on one side and then to balance the wreath, I'm making sure that I attach another ribbon cluster directly across from it. Once the ribbons were glued in place, I then kind of played with them, making sure that you could see all six of the ribbons in the little cluster. Once all six ribbon accents are attached to your wreath, it's complete and ready to hang. I hope you had fun making this wreath with me. You know I always have a blast hanging out with you. And if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below and I'll see you soon. Bye everybody.